The Philippine Congress approved the proposed Maritime Zones Bill. These will serve as the basis of the updated new standard map of the Philippines, which specifies the rights and entitlements of Filipinos over the country's maritime zones, particularly the features in the West Philippine Sea. The Congressional Bicameral Conference Committee from both Philippine Senate and House of Representatives submitted the approved version of Senate Bill No. 2492 and House Bill No. 7819 to the Office of the President. Once signed by the President, the approved Maritime Zones Bill will be enacted formally into law. The approved bill is a crucial step in putting the country's archipelago each island in order and in harmonizing domestic law with the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. Once enacted, the measure is expected to declare the country's maritime zones based on the standards set by the UNCLOS and solidified by the 2016 arbitral ruling. The Maritime Zones Bill's primary objective is to declare the Philippines' maritime zones based on the standards set by UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, clarify the geographical extent of the Philippine maritime domain, and at the same time, clarify the legal powers that the Philippines may exercise over. The upcoming law for Philippine Maritime Zone will be the basis for the updated version of the administrative map of the Philippines, which will specifically delineate the Calayan Island Group, Scarborough Shoal, Macclesfield Bank, West Philippine Sea, and Benham Rise Region. The Philippines' 200 nautical miles exclusive economic zone, west of the archipelago will be called as West Philippine Sea. Beyond the 200 nautical miles, it is still officially referred to as the South China Sea. The Department of Foreign Affairs of the Philippines said, the law would codify the status and regime of the waters inside the archipelago each baselines, and redefine the extent of Philippine territorial sea, including the contiguous zone. The Maritime Zones Law, by delineating and underscoring the maritime zones and boundaries, can act as foundational policy that addresses various institutional roadblocks, advances the Philippines' national interest in terms of the protection, maximization, and sustainability of the marine resources provides guidance on the rights and entitlements of the Philippines on different maritime zones, and can be utilized to maximize the goals of other relevant maritime laws of the Philippines. The maritime zones of the Philippines comprise the internal waters, archipelago each waters, territorial sea, contiguous zone, exclusive economic zone and continental shelf. All territories of the Philippines shall generate their respective maritime zones in accordance with international law. Therefore, the Philippines exercises sovereignty and jurisdiction over its archipelago each waters and the airspace over defined maritime zone, as well as its seabed and subsoil, in accordance with the UNCLOS and other existing laws and treaties. It also highlights the country's extended continental shelf in the Philippine Rise and West Palawan regions. The Philippines filed the claim on the West Palawan regions before the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf in June. The 2016 arbitral ruling, which deemed China's sweeping claim of almost all the South China Sea, declared as invalid, is among the documents that make up the backbone of the proposed measure. This will be the first time that the term West Philippine Sea will be embodied, mentioned, and referred to in a law that will be passed by Philippine Congress. Once enacted, the law emphasis on Philippine sovereign rights and jurisdiction in the West Philippine Sea, particularly on exploration, exploitation, management of natural resources, and artificial islands and structures in the area. The Philippines Maritime Zones Law will be Manila's formal response to counters the 10-dash line of China's new standard national map, published August last year, which claims nearly the entire South China Sea as part of its territory. The area overlaps with the exclusive economic zones of the Philippines and those of Malaysia, Brunei, Vietnam, and Indonesia. Chinese government has strongly opposed the bill and has lodged a solemn representation with the Philippine authorities. Experts warn that China's ability and determination to safeguard its sovereignty in the South China Sea should not be undervalued, and the Philippines will soon see more resolute, decisive, and powerful measures from China to defend its legal rights on the issue. China firmly opposes attempts by the Philippines to solidify the 2016 tribunal ruling of the South China Sea arbitration through domestic legislation, which China says, unlawfully includes China's Wangyan Dao and most of the islands and reefs in the Nansha Islands in its maritime jurisdiction. This move indicates that the Philippines may further escalate its legal disputes against China in the future. 
Last month, the Philippines makes official submission to the United Nation on entitlement to an extended continental shelf in the West Philippine Sea. The proposal aims to delineate the outer limits of the continental shelf beyond 200 nautical miles in the South China Sea. The Philippines may also seek to bypass China and engage in maritime border negotiations with other countries. Additionally, there is a possibility of initiating new international lawsuits on issues such as marine environmental protection in the South China Sea. The Philippine government through the Philippine Mission to the UN in New York, submitted information to the UN Commission on the limits of the continental shelf. On the extent of its undersea shelf in the South China Sea, off western Palawan province, after more than a decade and a half of scientific research. The submission is a declaration not only of the Philippines' maritime entitlements under UN Convention on the Law of Seas but also of the country's commitment to the responsible application of its processes. The Philippines underscored the significance of the submission in securing the Philippines' sovereign rights and maritime jurisdictions in the West Philippine Sea, noting that the 2016 award on the South China Sea arbitration confirmed the Philippines' maritime entitlements and rejected those that exceeded geographic and substantive limits under UNCLOS. The undersea region where the Philippines seeks to formally establish its sovereign rights under the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea or UNCLOS, covers the Spratlys, a chain of islands, islets, reefs and atolls that has been fiercely contested over the years by China, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan. Earlier this month, at the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore, the Philippines' President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. enumerated the legal basis of the Philippines in determining its territorial boundary and sovereign entitlements. We have defined our territory and maritime zones in a manner befitting a responsible and law-abiding member of the international community. When we established our Commonwealth in 1935, we put together a constitution that defined our territory in accordance with the international treaties that became the basis of our archipelagic unity. The Treaty of Paris between Spain and the United States crystallized our islands into a cohesive whole. The Treaty of Washington clarified the extent of our sovereignty and patrimony and a line set by international powers. So the lines that we draw in our waters are not derived from just our imagination, but from international law. We have on our side the 1982 UNCLOS and the binding 2016 Arbitral Award, which affirms what is ours by legal right. Philippines' submission to the United Nation on entitlement to an extended continental shelf in the West Philippine Sea met some protest from China and Malaysia. While Vietnam also submitted its own entitlement before the United Nation, to an extended continental shelf from relevant baselines in its territorial waters west of the South China Sea. China applauds its protest against Philippines' claim, before the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf, for an extended continental shelf in the West Philippine Sea. In a note verbal on June 18 communication, addressed to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, the permanent mission of the People's Republic of China to the UN, said the Chinese government seriously requests the Commission not to consider the submission by the Philippines. According to China, the Philippines' claim to a 200 nautical mile extended continental shelf in the West Palawan region is without basis and seriously infringed China's sovereignty, sovereign rights, and jurisdiction in the South China Sea. China said it has indisputable sovereignty over Nane Zudao and adjacent waters, and enjoys sovereign rights and jurisdiction over the relevant waters as well as the seabed and subsoil thereof. Nane Zudao refers to China's so-called South China Sea Islands, its term for four major island chains spread out in the disputed waters, including the Spratly Islands west of Palawan, which is covered by the Philippines' latest extended continental shelf claim. Meanwhile, Malaysia also opposes the Philippine submission to a United Nations body to formally recognize the extent of its undersea continental shelf, saying it is projected from the baselines of Saba. In a note verbal to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on June 27, Malaysia's permanent mission to the United Nations said Malaysia has never recognized the Philippines' claim to Saba. Malaysia requested the UN Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf not to examine and qualify the Philippines' partial submission. 
The government of Malaysia categorically rejects the Philippines' partial submission on the basis that the Republic of the Philippines' continental margin is projected from the baselines of the Malaysian state of Sabah. This clearly disregards Malaysia's indisputable sovereignty over the state of Sabah, the mission said. The mission said Sabah has always been an integral part of Malaysia, and has been recognized by the UN and the international community as part of Malaysia since the formation of the Federation of Malaysia on September 16, 1963. It argued that the Philippines' claim to sovereignty over Sabah is incompatible with its Erga Omne's obligation to recognize and uphold the legitimate exercise of the right to self-determination by the people of Sabah in 1963. The government of Malaysia wholly rejects the claims by the Republic of the Philippines that the latter has legal ownership and sovereignty over the Malaysian state of Sabah, the mission said. It is clear that the Republic of the Philippines' claim to Sabah has no basis whatsoever under international law. Vietnam has filed a claim with the United Nations to extend its continental shelf in the South China Sea. This comes a month after the Philippines made a similar move amidst China's increasing assertiveness in the disputed waters. Vietnam's state-run media say the government submitted the claim to a UN commission on Wednesday. The country has applied to extend its continental shelf beyond its exclusive economic zone in central areas of the disputed South China Sea. Hanoi is asking to extend the continental shelf beyond the current 200 nautical miles from relevant baselines in its territorial waters, the ministry said in a statement. The submission also reaffirms Vietnam's sovereignty over the Hoang Sa or the Paracel, and Trong Sa or Spratly Archipelagos, which it said was in accordance with international law. Vietnam's foreign ministry said it also sent a note verbal to the Secretary General of the UN to state Vietnam's position regarding a similar submission filed by the Philippines last month. In response, the Philippines said it was ready to engage with Vietnam on ways to achieve a mutually beneficial solution to South China Sea issues in accordance with international law. China has strongly opposed these latest moves, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson said on Thursday. Such submissions will only exacerbate differences and friction, and will not help resolve disputes in the South China Sea. China has protested against Vietnam's latest claim to an extended continental shelf in the disputed South China Sea following a similar request by the Philippines last month. According to Vietnam's foreign ministry, the country filed a submission on Thursday to the UN Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf to seek formal validation of the outer boundaries of its legal continental margin beyond the 200 nautical mile limit in a contested area of the South China Sea. If its claim was recognized, Hanoi would gain exclusive rights to exploit natural resources on the extended continental shelf under the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Vietnam's submission came after the Philippines filed a similar request in June seeking to confirm the extent of its continental seabed in the western part of Palawan province in the South China Sea. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Lin Jian said on Thursday that Vietnam's unilaterally submitted claim included maritime areas encompassing parts of the Spratly Islands, and infringed upon China's territorial sovereignty and maritime rights. Beijing and Hanoi have competing claims in the Spratly Islands, known in China as the Nansha Islands. UNCLOSE requires claims for an extended continental shelf to be validated through a formal and scientific process by the CLCS. Beijing has sweeping claims covering almost all of the South China Sea. However, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan all have competing claims to the waterway, which serves as a global shipping hub. Vietnam presented a diplomatic note to the Secretary General of the UN on Thursday rejecting the Philippines' claim to an extended continental shelf. According to the note, Manila's claim encroaches upon Vietnam's 200 nautical mile continental shelf and violates Vietnam's inherent sovereign rights and jurisdiction. Hanoi also requested the Commission to refrain from considering Manila's submission until all relevant issues between Vietnam and the Philippines were resolved. In 2009, Vietnam filed a claim regarding the northern part of the South China Sea. That same year, it also filed a joint submission with Malaysia with respect to the southern part of the South China Sea. However, the Commission deferred consideration of the two separate submissions by Malaysia and Vietnam, as well as their joint submission. When a deferral occurs, the CLCS will not make recommendations regarding the outer limits of the continental shelf extending beyond 200 nautical miles. 
Only the outer limits established based on the recommendations of the CLCS will become legal and binding.